In case you were wondering what happens once you submit that ballot, we sent CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho to Broward County, and he shows us how each vote is counted. It's what drives a lot of passion out there from the voters. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Broward County Supervisor of Elections, Joe Scott, understands presidential elections come with additional scrutiny. A lot of people out there that are saying things that to disparage elections and make people lose trust in our election system. So, you know, that's what we are trying to counteract. Scott shows us the entire facility. He says okay. anyone can come and watch the process without interfering. In the first room we see, election workers sort mail-in ballots. So this is the room where they're actually separating the ballots from the envelopes, preparing the ballots to go through the high-speed tabulation system. Down the hallway in the room over, a machine scans the sorted mail-in ballots. It runs periodically throughout the day. And there'll be some people that you can actually see around the corner that are actually sitting at computers. They're verifying the signatures on those envelopes to make sure that they match the signature that we have on file. If it does not match, they text, email, send mail, and call to let that person know. So they have until 5 p.m. on November 7th to submit a cure affidavit so that their vote can be counted. Past the warehouse where we see over 1,000 voting machines ready to be sent out on election day, we look and see how the county organizes and stores all the mail-in ballots and ones from in-person voting. And those ballots go through a second scan in the clear ballot room for an audit. To check to verify that the count that we got from our tabulation system is accurate. It's been proven throughout various elections that every vote counts. And the highly visible process in Broward puts voters like Mercedes Kenny at ease. Does that give you more confidence that you trust in what's La, happening? A lot of more this time, yeah, because you have to put everything in a machine. You know, you can see that everybody's watching what you're doing, and that's a good sign. Early voting in Broward County ends on November 3rd, then it's time to gear up for Election Tuesday to fully set up the more than 350 election voting sites. Reporting in Fort Lauderdale, Joe Gorcho, CBS News Miami.